Hello friends, welcome to this video program. In our earlier program, we have discussed about the concept of validity and uh, how, a val uh, how the concept of validity is related with the reliability of a test. And we have also discussed uh, uh, some of the methods to determine validity of a test. We have discussed about uh, uh, the fast validity method, the content validity method. We have also discussed about the criterion related validity method. Uh, uh, two methods come under the criterion related validity method. That is the concurrent validity and predictive validity. Again, uh, we have also discussed another method that is the construct validity method. So in this program, today we will discuss about the factorial validity method. You see, factorial validity method is one of the very important uh, method that can be used for determining validity of a test. You see, the term factorial validity has come from factor. Okay, so here what you have to do, uh, you have to analyze the factor. Means a type of factor analysis is required for determining factorial validity of a test. So here uh, uh, we'll uh, discuss that uh, uh, what are the different factors of a test, of a particular test and uh, how these factors can be analyzed or factorial analysis can be done for determining the validity of a test. So first let me to say factorial validity determines the correlation of different factors or components with the whole test. So try to understand here. So let you have uh, developed a test of intelligence. Okay, buddhi maapan karne ke liye ek test aap develop kiya hai. Mujhe hamara jo researcher hai, jo learners hai, bar bar mujhe request karte hai YouTube mein aur Facebook mein, mera WhatsApp group mein, Google group mein, ki sir kuch video aap Hindi mein bhi banaiye taaki hume जो हिंदी बेल्ट में जो स्टूडेंट्स से उनको भी फायदा हो सो व्हाट आई विल बी डूइंग आई विल यूज बोथ द लैंग्वेजेस ओके एंड आई विल ट्राई टू डेवलप सर्टेन वीडियोज ऑन हिंदी लैंग्वेज आल्सो लेटर सो फ्रेंड्स फैक्टोरियल वैलिडिटी डिटरमिनेंस द कोरिलेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स और कंपोनेंट्स विद द होल टेस्ट सो लेट यू हैव डेवलप्ड अ टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस ओके so when you are administering the test of intelligence you will get you will get a set of scores so that will say that is the score of the whole test that is the score of the whole test but in factorial validity uh, you have to find out for determining the factorial validity you have to establish you have to find out the correlation of different factors or components with the whole test you see every test is having certain components okay having certain factors so when we talk about when we talk about any theory or when you talk about any variable you can say any attribute that we use uh, in education as well as in research in social sciences even if in psychology anthropology sociology okay so we use certain uh, variables we set, we use certain uh, attributes that may be intelligence that may be achievement that may be aptitude that may be self concept that may be personality okay so these are the uh, you can say uh, variables or attributes that we are uh, uh, studying uh, by conducting a type of research so here what you will do when a researcher develop a test of intelligence definitely certain factors are there uh, for developing the intelligence certain components are there okay so let me to give uh, uh, what are the components uh, uh, as example for developing a test of intelligence so where you will get the question from what areas you will get the question okay so what are the factors or what are the components of that intelligent test let i'm uh, just giving one example uh, you are getting you can say one of the component of an intelligent test is uh, 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 reasoning means you will get certain question let you have uh, prepared a test uh, uh, taking uh, 60 questions okay 60 questions you will find that a certain question 10 15 questions may be from reasoning background of the students that uh, 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 that has been included in your test then you will find that certain questions are related to language knowledge to test your language knowledge your language application okay uh, your language skills 
so that's why you will find certain questions related to your literature language and literature and you will find certain questions uh, because uh, uh, measuring or knowing the general awareness general knowledge uh, of the students is also one of the uh, area or one of the component of intelligence so that's why what you will do uh, a section of uh, questions a section of item uh, you will include in your intelligent test so that will be one of the component then other component definitely subject area is also one of the component okay let if you are preparing uh, an intelligent test for uh, uh, you can say uh, for 10th standard students for 9th standard students so what you will do definitely you will take certain questions from their subject area so here uh, you see i said about uh, uh, questions on uh, reasoning questions on general knowledge questions uh, related to general awareness questions related to languages then questions related to different subject areas so uh, when we are developing a test so these are the components these are the components so what you will do you have prepared uh, an intelligent test taking uh, four five components so you have uh, when you administered that test for getting the validity you have already selected a group of uh, uh, subject group of students on the same I mean same age group same standard students uh, you have administered that test and uh, you have already got a set of scores then after getting the set of scores again what you will do uh, earlier uh, i have said that uh, let in your test 60 questions are there 60 items are there then as per the components so what you will do you have to you have to uh, you know make the groups let 10 questions from reasoning then 15 questions from uh, uh, general knowledge and general awareness again 15 17 questions from let subject then 10 questions from language and literature uh, to know the skills in subject skills in languages your skills and understanding uh, uh, in inductive and deductive reasoning whether you have the analytical skill or not whether you are able to synthesize the things or not okay and uh, again whether uh, you are acquainted with the uh, different development uh, which is uh, going on globally or not means your general knowledge and general awareness so these are one one component so what you will do you have to establish a type of correlation between uh, your uh, whole test the result of the whole test means whole test score with the scores that you have got from one component okay so if you find that uh, uh, by factor analysis statistic this is also called as a statistical methods because here what you, you will do you have to analyze the factor means which factor is contributing your test how much contribution of one factor uh, to your test okay so that you have to establish so you will see that uh, 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 for develop in your in the whole test uh, you have taken the five components the contribution of uh, which component is how much let a component is contributing 60 percent weightage or that is this is also called as weight contribution means see the correlation of the test with each factor is calculated to determine the weight contributed by each such factor to the total performance of uh, uh, the test means see how much weight has contributed by which factor or which um, uh, which component means what is the contribution of reasoning for intelligence what is the contribution of subject knowledge for intelligence of the subjects then what is the contribution of general awareness for developing the intellig uh, uh, the test of intelligence then what is the contribution of uh, uh, language and literature for developing the intelligent test and friends that will be one of the part of manual of your test because here you are uh, standardizing a tool you are getting the validity so when you will write the validity uh, when you will mention that factorial validity the concept of factorial validity have been uh, uh, you know used uh, in your study uh, in your test you have to say that uh, uh, the detail uh, analytics or detail analysis background you have also given means which factor is contributing how much okay so whether all factors are contributing equally or few factors uh, the contribution of few factors are much 
in comparison to other factors that you have to analyze so let me to give one more example let let when you talk about academic achievement okay academic achievement you will find that many factors work for determining uh, your academic achievement of the uh, students you see uh, you can say the learning environment learning environment means learning environment at the school learning environment in uh, at the home you can say socio economic status of the learners also socio economic status of the learners okay the background so that also contribute for academic achievement of the students then intelligence of a, a student particularly of a student is also contributing something for uh, uh, you know academic achievement then you can say other aspect learning habits uh, the practices the examination of practices uh, preparation of note you see all students are not studying uh, in a same style in a same way okay so uh, habits learning habits of students are differently some are studying at the night some are studying uh, at the early morning and you will find that uh, you will find a group of students those are studying just before the examination okay and you will find that uh, a group of students they are studying continuously regularly means every day they are studying late for four hours for five hours so this is a continuous habit so here you can find out uh, a, a student who is uh, who has developed a continuous habit of study uh, what is their achievement and the students the, the group of students those are only studying just before the exam just before one month of the exam what is their achievement so what i mean to say here learning habits or the study habits learning style is also one of the factor for determining achievement of the students so intelligence then learning style uh, at the same time i have also discussed about the uh, home background okay uh, uh, this uh, social background of the learners so these are one one factor so in factorial validity what you will do we have to analyze these factors for academic achievement uh, how much uh, your home environment or uh, social environment your learning environment is contributing how much the personal learning habit is contributing how much uh, uh, you can say the intelligence is contributing because everyone is having certain intelligence okay so whether for getting a high achievement whether intelligence of uh, the students are contributing a lot and if uh, intelligence is contributing what is there what is the proportion what is the uh, uh, rate of their contribution okay so that you have to determined by doing the factorial and factor analysis then again uh, when you talk about the aptitude okay the aptitude of the students and uh, uh, the achievement of the students whether they are positively correlated or not whether uh, learning aptitude or whether uh, aptitude of a learner that also contribute for the achievement or not so when we analyze a test that test you have prepared and uh, 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 first of all you have to identify the factors then you have to correlate the score of that factor with the whole test the score of the whole test so by uh, correlating the factor with the whole test you can establish uh, the factorial validity you see the validity in this method also tells us about the factor loading means which factor is loading how much okay kaun sa factor whole test mein kitna loading kiya so that's why uh, uh, this is a uh, you can say the, uh, the the weight of the factor at the same time the loading of the factor which factor is a very uh, though that is a factor but not a significant factor but you will find that certain factors which is a very significant factor just like for achievement and intelligence intelligence is a significant factor for achievement learning style or study habit is a significant factor for achievement okay so that's why in this way we can uh, uh, you know establish the factorial validity of a test uh, uh factorial validity describes what factors a test measures with their weight so first of all it measures what are the factors and with their weight uh, how much is the weight so that should be the part of your uh, test manual you have to mention that these are the factors in factorial validity these factors have been analyzed by using the statistical technique and by analyzing the factors this is the result that uh, the correlation between the whole test and the uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, your the part test or the uh, the component of the test 
So friends, uh, today we discuss about uh, the concept of factorial validity and how to analyze the factor and how to know uh, the weight of the factor and uh, the factor loading of a test. So unless you determine all these factors uh, that is contributing your test, you cannot say that uh, the factorial validity have been established in your test. So friends, uh, uh, we have discussed uh, almost all the uh, methods that uh, that are being used for determining the uh, validity of a test in our next uh, uh, program we will discuss other aspect of education thank you